What's up guys? We are here at Amoeba Music in Hollywood. As you can see, we got here a little later than expected because there is a massive line already. There's about 50 people ahead of me. I got here just before midnight. So this is the biggest record store day that I've seen thus far. And tonight we're gonna talk to a lot of cool people, find out what they're gonna get, and it's gonna be a great night. opens around 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, and we are 50th in line. 50! I've never had a record store day where I was after 10th in line. I can't believe it. Records are here to stay. If you need a proof, this is it. Vinyl records are here and they're not going anywhere. Some stores are chaotic and they just have the records littered around the store in a specific area, so it's like Black Friday. Not Amoeba. They have a special sheet where you can actually put your menu down and write down what you want, and they pick it in the order that you can. So I think that's a really safe system. No one gets trampled. Most people get what they want. All right, I'm here with Brian. What's going on, man? How's it going? How's it going? What time did you get here? I just got here. It is now 1.33. Okay, are you, are you surprised that there are so many people here already? No. So that last year, people were already around the block about 6.30 a.m. So I'm like, okay, I'm not getting any sleep anytime soon, so I'll just be here. <laughs> this is not a night for sleeping. This is a night for buying and, and, and feeling very tired. What are you looking forward to getting? What are your top three? Um, the Cure. The uh, Acoustic or The Greatest Hits? The Greatest Hits. Nice. This is Love uh, Rostropovich. It is a picture disc that is a x-ray. Okay. Um, the story behind it is that he was from Russia and the way to get music out of Russia was to put the music on to um, x-rays, to actual x-rays. I feel like I've heard about this before. That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. Brian Jones here Massacre. Nice. Sounded interesting. Yeah, that's probably going to be a good pickup for sure. Yeah. Bull Moose, uh, the guy who runs uh, their, their vinyl stuff, Chris, he does a video every year where he shows off record store day exclusives ahead of time. Oh, yeah. He talks about something called a Frank piece, and the story behind that is a little longer. Oh, yes. Than, uh, yes, you yes, know. Yes, so yes, it's, yes. it's grabbing something that you don't necessarily know what it is or it's not a win, just, just to hope that you might like it. And I think okay. that's, a, that's a cool idea and something that's you support your record store and you build your collection in a way that you might not realize. So. And that's a good thing about vinyl, too, is that it forces you to sit down and really listen and pay attention to the album. Sweet. Well, good luck, uh, Brave in the Night. Thank you. Yes. Should be fun. <laughs> you have a comfortable chair, you're going to be sitting for a long time. Also, you're going to want energy, so make sure you bring some energy drinks. Tip number two, make sure you look at the list before you get here, but if you don't, your store might have a copy to look at while you wait. Thanks, Amoeba. Tip number three, you're going to be here for a long time, make sure you have entertainment. Portable DVD player, or if you're like me, a Walkman with vaporwave sense. And tip number four, the most important tip, have fun, meet people, it's social. It's a great night to meet other record collectors and record fans, talk to them, you have a long night ahead of you, you can make some friends. And those are your tips for Record Store Day. Now let's talk to some people. I was walking down the line and I ran into Chemo. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good. I ran into this guy three years ago at Record Store Day at Amoeba, or no, at Origami. Origami. And uh, now we're here again. What time did you get here? You were very close. 9.30. 9.30. I took the bus from Westlake Village. So what are you looking to get? Why'd you get here so early? Uh, there's a particular release that I want. It's Sunny Day Real Estate, The Rising Tide. Nice. Zillinger, Escape Plan, Instrumentalist, White Vinyl, Pearl Jam. Nice, uh, me too. Big Pearl Jam fan. State of Love and Trust and it, Breath. Don't it's you think those are two of their best songs? Single soundtrack? Yeah, which is getting single. a reissue too, but I still want to have that 7-inch. Yeah, yeah. Claypool, Lennon, Delirium. It's a good one too. I think I might have to grab that too. They're covering some good songs on there. A soundtrack for Star Wars and New Hope. Yep. Uh huh. I have to have that. It's Star Wars, right? Anything yeah. Star. They could be like Star Wars bag of dirt. I'd be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that. Tatooine dirt. Tatooine <laughs> dirt. Well, dude, yeah. it's really good to see you again, yeah. and good luck. I'm sure we'll talk again before the night's over. Yeah. Cool, man. Awesome. faster than I thought. I just listened to some music on my phone, which was a nice way to pass a little bit of time. All right, we're here with Ricky. What's going on, How's it going, man? It's going. What time you just got here, right? Got here like 20 minutes ago, I think. 20 minutes ago. About, or maybe 15. This is my third time at Amoeba. Okay. So, um, this is actually the closest I've ever been to the, to the front. I got like three hours of sleep, so. Well, you're not going to get much more tonight. No. It's not happening. What are you here for? What are you, what are you uh, top three? Against Me, 7-inch. Nice. 
Ramones box set. Okay. This is um, seven inches, right? This box is seven inches, yeah. yeah. The AJJ live record. Nice, dude. Well, uh, my favorite AJJ song on that. Uh, Love in the time of uh, human power on the wires. They can do no wrong. They really so. can. Oh, there's like a, a UK version of a um, UK subs record coming out. I think it's from the UK. I thought it was on the UK list, but it's apparently here too. So yeah, I, I'm noticing some of the stuff that I thought was just like regional. They right. have, which is which is nice. Yep. I'm hoping we're not too far to get what we want. I was shocked to see that we we're 50. I was 50. Uh, yeah, this is this is actually not as bad as I thought. Ramon's box. That's what I'm going. With. Dude, so. I hope you get it. Store day is this for you? Number one. This is your first record store. Congrats. So what made you come out to Amoeba tonight? Last night? Just just a feeling. <laughs> just a feeling. I don't know. I've been I've been more into vinyl recently. That's awesome. I keep getting records in the mail and I'm forgetting. Welcome I've to my life. I'm very into it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just it's a snowball effect. You get one and you're like, this is cool, and then you all of a sudden get like five a week, you're like, alright, then you get ten a week, you're like, uh oh. It's very fun to open them and right? touch or <laughs> what are you looking to pick up today? I made a list. Let's hear it. I really want the Big Star. Love the Big Star. Box set. I want the Cure Greatest Hits. Mm -hmm. I want Pink Floyd and Zombies and all the Kings. The Pink I don't Floyd. Know if that's I can get that's that. Interstellar Overdrive. Oh no, you're right. You're right. It's Interstellar Overdrive. Yeah, and then Miley Cyrus. Gotta get that Miley Cyrus, then bangers. Well, I hope you get everything on your list. I mean, you. I hope we all do, but you especially because you're a great person. <laughs> right sort of 6 a.m. My menu, and I'm waiting patiently, as patient as I can, for them to come by and take my menu and crossing my fingers, praying to the record gods that we don't run out of the ones I want before it gets to the front. So, yeah, we're here. We're in this Amoeba 2017. <laughs> all about that it's it's yeah. that's some experimental stuff but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm considering it myself well I hope you guys get everything I mean you guys have earned it by being here this long so it was nice to meet you nice to meet you thank Update it in real time so you get to know what's out and be sad about it or see that your record's still in stock and be really happy about it. It's a cool system. How many people have you got through? Hmm? How many people have you got through? Uh, you're 51. Okay. So. Oh, you almost got it on the nose. Yeah, 50. I guessed it. There you go. Thank you. 
I just got my handy dandy clip saying my spot, which is exactly 51, so I was close when I said 50. Just look at the board. As of now, they are not sold out of anything that I want. They also have the prices up, so I just went and calculated the prices of everything that I wanted, plus sales tax. It is $500, so I'm going to have to trim my list down considerably, maybe even in half. So I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions right now. We are almost inside. The wait has paid off. We are gonna find out what records we actually got that didn't sell out. I am so excited. I'm re-energized, I had a little coffee, and uh, this is gonna all pay off. Record Store Day 2017, let's see what I get. It was crazy and lined up. He's gonna take the casual approach. Hopefully we both get what we want. Super casual, I got here super late. It's cool to actually finally meet this guy. It's been I can't all believe the time. I've never ran into you in a record store. It's, but it's of all crazy. the days to do it, this is the day. Too many records, finalized, see you later. We are inside, we are at the buy counter. I'm about to see what records I get. And the cool part is, Pete's ringing us up. Pete from the Amoeba interview, if you haven't seen that, click, click there, yeah. click there. Check that video out, but this is cool, we're in. Feels good, my bag looks big. So, I don't think that, that's everything. Everything! <laughs> but now I have to cut it down because sure. my wallet only is shed so far. So, we did it. I got everything on my list. There were a couple things I had to put back because once I saw the prices, there were some that were a little more expensive than I was willing to pay. But I got everything that I really wanted, which is beautiful. That's exactly what I needed for Record Store Day. It was worth the wait. We had a great time. It's 10.15. We're in a beautiful park in Hollywood. They got us out before the store even officially opened. That's efficiency. You go, Amoeba. As you guys saw, we met a ton of great people. Amoeba was super gracious. They were great at getting us in and out. And uh, we got to talk to Pete, who we had the interview with. So that was a fantastic surprise. I want to show you some of the records I got. And if they're colored, I'll pull them out and show you the colors because everybody likes colored records. Let's start off with the seven inches. One I'm most excited for is Pearl Jam, State of Love and Trust and Breath. Two of their best songs on one seven inch. I'm trying to collect all the Pearl Jam seven inches, so this is going to be good to have. This is a cool gatefold double seven inch by Alice in Chains. Uh, with Lane Staley, so this is the best era of Alice in Chains. I think this is the best grunge group, period. And this is awesome, I can't wait to listen to this. Andre 3000, all together now, cover of a Beatles song. I think Andre 3000 is one of the most talented people on the planet. Uh, excited to hear this. I've never listened to the digital version, so this will be a first. Next up we have Field Music, Tones of Town. This was not on my original video list, but I looked into this band because I've heard a lot about Field Music, I never really gave them a fair shot. This is some brilliant indie pop, and this album is great front to back, so I know the original issue of this is very difficult to find. I thought I had to pick it up. It comes in a really nice gatefold, and it's on colored vinyl. That's cool! I don't know if I have a record that's that, like, it's not a translucent yellow, just like a solid yellow. That's cool. Up next we have Hoover Phonic presents Jackie Kane. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know this album but I know their first album, and it's wonderful. It's good trip-hoppy, down-tempo electronic. This is probably gonna be just as good, and there's only a thousand copies. It's numbered on the back. My number's a little rubbed off. I think it's number 62 is what it looks like, which is awesome. It is not a gatefold, but it does come on this awesome translucent red vinyl. Super excited to listen to this because I read a little bit about it and it's supposed to be an awesome album. So if it's anything like the first, I'm gonna love it. This is neat. So this is the Claypool Lennon Delirium. So John Lennon's son and Les Claypool of Primus. They did uh, something together and it's Lime and Limpid Green. Uh, it's a covers EP. So they're covering some of my favorite tracks, which is why I had to pick it up. Astronomy Domine, which is a Pink Floyd track from the early Sid Barrett era. Also, The Court of the Crimson King, my favorite track off of King Crimson's seminal album. And Boris the Spider, which is a really weird Who song that I, I grew up listening to. My dad always played it and sung it, so I'm excited to hear their take on it. Of course, it lives up to the color with that gorgeous green. Ooh, this is a little dirty. I'm gonna have to give that one a cleaning. I believe I can fly. Space Jam. I, I told myself, don't get it on the day of. You're not gonna listen to it that much, but I saw it, I looked at it. Coolio, Seal, R. Kelly. The Space Jam theme song by the Quad City DJs. <sighs> I had to get it. I'm curious what this color looks like because I haven't seen a picture of it yet. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. 
That's really cool. I'm really into this color. This is a, a favorite of mine right off the bat. I'm very excited to listen to this and relive my childhood through some space jamming. The Vitamin String Quartet performing Kanye West. You guys know how I feel about Kanye West. I actually saw something last year called Yeetoven, which was a uh, orchestra performing songs off of Yeezus and comparing them to Beethoven because apparently structurally they're very similar. Shocking, I know. Kanye is a genius. So I'm really excited to hear some of these songs. I've heard New Slaves, obviously, from that concert, so I can kind of guess what that's going to be like. But hearing songs like Famous and uh, Touch the Sky and Power with a string quartet, this is going to be cool for me. Sun was in my face and on the records. Got to protect the records at all costs, so I had to move a little bit. Andre Nicotina. This is a self-titled album. I think it's his second most recent album. Uh, really good Bay Area rap. I grew up in the Bay Area for 12 years, so I had to get this to rep him. It's actually a really solid album. So if you like Bay Area rap, like Mac Dre and Keek Sneak, E-40 kind of stuff, check this out. I don't think this is on colored vinyl, but this is Animal Collective Meeting of the Waters. Now, I wasn't gonna get this at first when I heard about it, because it's, I think it's just uh, A.B. Tear and geologists doing field recordings and kind of songs by themselves. And I love Panda Bear, he's my favorite part of Animal Collective. But I heard one track off this this morning and it was so trippy. The trippiest thing they've done in a very long time and I loved it. So I'm buying it, hoping that the rest of it is that good. Got a little Marcy Playground to keep the grunge alive. This has never been on vinyl before. This comes with a bonus seven inch with an acoustic version of their cover of Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. So I'm really excited for that. I wish this was a gatefold. It is not, but I will survive. Is that sex and candy? I'm a sucker for Star Wars, and I bought this, even though I have a New Hope soundtrack already. It's a 10 inch with a different art, and it has um, the main title and the throne room and end title on the B side. It's Star Wars, I'm gonna buy it. Was worried they were gonna sell out of this one, but they did not. Sunny Day Real Estate, The Rising Tide. This is their last album together, and it's a little different than their earlier stuff, but I love it. And this is on some very cool vinyl. Of course it's that. Ultra clear, not ultra clear, but it's it's clear. Never heard this on vinyl, so I'm really excited to spin it. UGK, Too Hard to Swallow. This is a seminal Southern rap album, and I had to get this. It's not a gatefold, even though I think it should be because there's two discs, but uh, this has never been on vinyl before, shockingly. And it is also, I guess it's the thing this year, it's on clear vinyl. This is some good stuff. UGK recently picked up some 3-6 Mafia. I am I am cruising on my Southern rap right now. And last but not least is the one I am most excited that I got. The Cinematic Orchestra, Ma Floor. This is on colored vinyl, and I have no idea what the color is, so I'm actually really excited. Gatefold's pretty simple, but let's see. This album is excellent, trip-hoppy, jazzy, down-tempo electronic. I recommend this band highly. It is on blue vinyl, that's cool. I think it matches the cover fairly well. It's been a while since I heard this album in full, and I love this album, so this might be the first one I play. So that wraps up Record Store Day 2017. We had a great time. Thank you to Chris for coming and being a champion. Only picked up four things, and he waited all night with me, which was awesome. Thank you to Amoeba for always being great. They brought us coffee, they brought us pastries, thanks to Coffee Bean. And everybody was super quick inside. They got their stuff done. Highly recommend going to Amoeba for Record Store Day. Their prices were absolutely fair comparatively to all the record store day prices. I, I can't say more positive things about the experience. I want to know what you guys got for record store day. Hopefully you got everything you wanted. Leave a comment. Let me know what you got. If you like this video, please subscribe and we'll be seeing you soon with new videos. Another cool thing he mentioned is that in a few copies of the records throughout the nation, there are going to be golden tickets inside. Now, it's not taking you to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, but it's taking you somewhere.